just tricking in general and then the, I've seen it outside and then my uncle's done a couple of things um, but mostly YouTube videos. Um, I did about four and a half years of ballet and about four years of karate and then I did this. So I've got the flexibility background but not the strength background. I'm working on that. So I don't I never really had an athletic background. Like my two PE credits in high school were like track and sports and like a D minus and then online bowling. Like I never really <laughs> did online bowling. Like, it was horrible. Online, online, online bowling. It was amazing. <laughs> <This is not laughs> easiest <laughs> class ever. <laughs> it was fun, but I never did anything athletic. But I always kind of wanted to take dance classes when I was a kid, but my parents didn't really want me to do it. So I see parkour as kind of a lone man's like dancing sort of a thing because you don't have to go to a class, you don't need like an instructor, you're not dancing in a group, you're just kind of doing your own thing. Uh, I don't really have much background either. Um, you did some martial arts. My sister did martial arts and I let her beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I participated um, in yeah, being beaten in I martial was the arts. Punching no. um, <laughs> What got me into it was a mix between my cousin doing parkour and, to be honest, Ninja Warrior. <laughs> it was pretty legit, but... Um, I have actually absolutely no movement background at all. I have always been a bookworm. Um, actually, what got me into... What made me aware of parkour was actually doing photo shoots with Francesco. And then he invited me to a class about a year and a half ago, and I did a little bit, and then kind of didn't do it and now I'm back. I injured my ankle and I was like, okay, I'm done. So now I decided to actually do a lot more movement. So I kind of started back that back up. Inspiration. I just enjoy it. Um, I enjoy doing it. Um, what inspires me is probably that it works a whole bunch of different muscle groups. And so it's pretty much different from what I've done in the past. I did this mainly for the flexibility training and the stamina and the balance training and what inspires me are the people that come with me. I come for the people, like the energy, their motivation, just they're they're so positive, they're so fun to be around. Um, I'd say my two biggest examples are Angela and Danny. I look up to them a lot. They're amazing what they do. Um, and hopefully I'll get closer to being as good as they are. Um, hopefully I'm as flexible as you are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both work on getting closer. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this group. I'm so glad I found it. And I'll continue training with them. Um, I like the challenge. That's a big, big challenge. I like the freedom because suddenly you move all the obstacles around you. Um, 
I do. I like the freedom, and it's sort of like my own version of like self defense, as opposed to taking a self defense class at a student parkour. It makes me feel like I can like take care of myself. Run away! Wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> you know, zombie defense. You know, kind of a thing. And then um, I do it just to make myself like more brave, I guess, to try things because everything that you're doing is different, and like friends and stuff. And, like, I have two bracelets. One of them says friendship. And one of them says courage, and I always wear them because. I always like doing parkour and training and trying to do it as much as I can and hang out with people. But. Um, part of it that inspires me is the want to better myself. I want to make myself stronger and more able to do different kinds of movement. And then I also have to agree that having other people there is really nice. It, it's really good for motivation and everything. Um, I have to kind of agree with most of what they're saying is, is it's the people. Um, it's not even so much that you're coming out to do. Sometimes you come out, you don't even necessarily have a goal, but or you didn't have days where you don't want to come train, and everybody's like, hey, come train. You're like, okay. You know, because you're like, oh, everybody's going to be there. Okay, I got to go. Um, but I think for me, and, and this probably, Beatrice touched on this a little bit, but um, it's kind of in a way because I am older than most everybody else is doing this. Um, it's kind of a challenge for me to go, okay, I can do this even though I may not be as young as everybody else is, I still have the ability to do it, so I kind of find that challenging. Good at it. <laughs> go, girl. I've broken my foot. The whole foot? The whole foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the <laughs> metatarsal. <laughs> that wasn't fun. I just worked on a lot of other body stuff. We have an athletic background too, right? You did, uh, what was it you did? Uh, track and softball. Track and softball. And what did you do in track? Um, long jump and triple jump mostly. Okay. That'd be really good at the Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no crossover. <laughs> um, injuries. Well, for me, I tend to just try to avoid injuries in the first place. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Perfect well, answer. It's a torn ligament. Dude, it'll be fun. Oh, yeah. I am the band aid first, and I have the whole medical kit in my backpack, and I chase people around with band aids and make it hurt. Um, that helps them work on their parkour, you know, baby. <laughs> but. Run away from the band aid. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, for me, I just, because I come for flexibility training, I don't really do a whole lot of the actual parkour moves. I do work on that somewhat, but because I avoid the majority of it, I don't really have a lot of injuries. I've like bruised my knees before and I'm like, oh my gosh, because <laughs> I'm very pain sensitive. But um, yeah, usually I'm very lucky. I, I just haven't had anything happen so far. Knock on wood. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to win. <laughs> um, but yeah, so no injuries for me. Uh, I got two injuries. The first one was a hamstring injury and I've never had that injury. That was quite a surprise. Uh, it took about two months to heal and then I came back to the class. Uh, the second one was an ankle and I was better prepared. So I was able to, I just rested a little bit. We're going to have some support. And then um, I started to jump again. Yeah, so I am always making sure that I didn't have it for the ankle, for the foot, or we did together so the bandits were prepared. We can get to for a long time so I haven't had any like real serious injuries but I mean every time I train I get like the bruises and the scrapes and stuff like that but normally you're having so much fun or you're so like amped up that you don't realize it and then I'll go home the next day and I'm like what is this where did I where even or I'll look at my legs and I'm like wow I didn't look like I just got mugged like really <laughs> like I'll just have bruises everywhere but um I did like smash my nose on something really hard one time and it really hurt it was bleeding all over the place but that was the first injury that I've ever had. I've never broken a limb, not
having anything stupid as a kid, so that was the first thing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm bleeding. And I was like really surprised for a long time. But um, when you get injured, it kind of like builds up a block. Like whatever you were doing, you're kind of like, oh no, if I do that again, I'm going to get hurt. So you have to work through it. You have to make sure that you don't like mentally block yourself from ever doing it and thinking that you're always going to get hurt. You have to try it again and show yourself that you're capable of succeeding. Uh, the only injury I really got is a sprained ankle. I really just pushed through it. I, uh, the same day that I sprained it, not even an hour after I was doing wall runs on it, so <laughs> it hurt later, but <laughs> I just pushed through it. Um, I'm actually currently injured. Uh, now I have a sprained ankle and I'm just doing the icing thing on it and just kind of taking time off. Um, kind of what Angela said, doing a lot more upper body stuff, um, a lot more general conditioning, you know, QM, uh, stuff like that, to kind of build everything else up since you do use everything in parkour, everything's got to get strong. So that's what i kind of been focusing on, giving jumps and all that a break and working on everything else. And there are days it swells and days it doesn't, you just ice it and you deal with it. <laughs> For those of you that haven't, haven't uh, met Jessica, she, uh, she started taking my class uh, last semester. And uh, we did all our, of course we do the, the measurement of the broad jump and everything like that uh, prior uh, for the first thing and push-ups and everything like that. And she pretty much uh, destroyed her score um, from the beginning to the end. So like her, her precision jumps now are way stronger and stuff. So I think she, she doesn't give herself the credit I think she deserves. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, she, 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 she's, she's doing she's doing pretty good. Um, um, maybe I'll maybe I'll, I cannot do I might be able to find some footage of uh, when she originally tried. And I'll, and if I can find that, I'll definitely put it up. If not, then too bad. Too well, pretty good for her. But anyway.
Um, I think what detours them, and I actually had a conversation, I think, with Kiko um, about this a while ago, but um, I think most women don't have any movement background, so they, they just don't think they can. Or if they start, they have no reference point. Um, most guys, at some point or other, let their lives of jump fences, run, you know, climb trees, whatever. Most girls, if they do that, it's for a very limited amount of time, and they don't have a reference point to start with. I know for me personally, I never did any of that. So you don't have a starting point at all. And so, you know, and, and when you train with the guys, the guys are great. I mean, the guys are really generous, and they help out, and they're really supportive. But when you ask them how to do something, a lot of people go, well, just do it. And you're like, but how? How? <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing that the, the women get intimidated because they see the guys doing everything and then they're like, well, how do you do it? They don't, they don't get that. They're, it doesn't come with a tutorial. You know, I mean, yeah. they're, they're, on, they're on YouTube now, but it's still kind of scary to try to figure out how to move when you've never moved before. At least that's, that's kind of my take on it. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I know yeah. you're, you were pretty active. But Well, that too, and like, and all the parkour things in the movies are always men doing it for the most part, very like muscular, tall men. And like as a five five, like one hundred and ten pound, you're like female. How am I going to be able to do all that, like four backflips off a roof? And yeah, and they make it look so easy. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm done. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we get intimidated by it sometimes because they do generally have more strength than we do, especially yeah, when we're starting out. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, right there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 he just walks over and starts back and left a dirty footprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, le leave no trace, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice little so footprint out there. Yeah, I think the other reason why women stay away from it is because it's kind of like, uh, it's really, it's not dangerous unless you make it dangerous, but like, Run towards a concrete wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. So, and it kind of goes against what you were told as a kid. <laughs> you're like, stop, well, stop, yeah. stop yeah. banging your head in that wall. <laughs> yeah. Never. So it's mainly coachable. Yeah. So the way we oh, great. Yeah. yeah, and I also, yeah. well, like, I kind of, sometimes I feel equal uh, to the men, but sometimes it's kind of lesser because they just do things. Like, uh, everyone seems to agree with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of those things, like, training with the guys, they're they're always, like, willing to help. They're always willing to come over and, like, give you advice. But when I was first starting out, like, one of the things that I kind of noticed, which just kind of upset me, was that they would come over and it was almost like they were talking to, like, a child. They're like, oh, well, here, like, this is how you do it. And I'm like, thanks. Great. <laughs> awesome. I love feeling like I'm six years old. And, like, I, they don't it a lot of the times but I think that it's such a kind of a man's sport kind of a man's world guys doing it you know they're used to their own speed that when they have to work on like a woman's speed which might be like another <laughs> level down it's it's more different you know girls are like okay well how can I do this they'll look at the wall evaluating you know how am I gonna do this you know guys are just like I can jump that and then they just go jump it and you're like, like I'm gonna try to throw myself onto that wall well, yeah you know if I had a nickel for every time I heard a guy go just throw it I'd yeah but I think they try and treat us as yeah, yeah. As they, they have to put you can tell that they have to put like effort it's just, I don't know. It's just something that I notice. It's not like a horrible thing, and not, the guys don't do it all the time, but you can almost tell when you first start out, they're very like. I think one time I had to ask like 20 times to do something. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm done talking to you. Next person. <laughs> yeah. But they're very helpful. Like each person you ask, guy or girl, will have a whole different method of the same exact thing that you're trying to accomplish, like wall running to flips to anything. Every person you ask, they look at it in a different way. So you can never ask for too many people. There's always another way of doing it. Until you find your own way to do it. I will say though that it, since I've started training, I've noticed that the guys are really good about they don't treat you necessarily different. At least with the group of guys that I, I've worked with, that they they you don't walk in feeling like oh I'm I'm a girl. They're like hey what's up? You know they don't. At least to me, I don't feel like they they treat me different. Um, there are times when they're like, okay, you know, they're kind of looking at you like, what are you doing? But I think overall, they it's more of, and I, I think, and I think you guys will probably agree with me, but it's more of if you put the effort in and show that you're willing to learn, they're gonna be, they're gonna treat you the same as they treat everybody else.
And I think that's different than most stuff that you see with guys. Most guys are always, in a lot of other stuff, guys are like, oh, well, you're a girl. Here it seems like guys are like, hey, if you put the effort in, you're cool. And I think that's that's a real big thing with the parkour community that I've noticed just in general. If you prove yourself and you prove that you're willing to come out every week or every day and do it, they're going to treat you just as like they treat everybody else. It's kind of like dancing and breaking. Like that community. Yeah. They just bring you in and they're like, hey, what's up? Um, anybody else? Um, do you draw on any other female practitioners that, that or any, any of them that practice that uh, help you to push yourself drive, to drive you? Um, if not, that's fine, but uh, just curious if anybody in here has looked into that, or maybe it's somebody in your own group, or I think we may maybe talked about that a little bit. But uh, yeah, anybody that you draw upon, that's maybe they're not female. Maybe you draw inspiration from something else too. Oh, from <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'll be the female practitioner you all. Draw. And you'd be damn sexy. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has their own strengths and their own weaknesses. Yeah. Each person has their own thing. Something or something that something they're good at, something they're good at. But uh, I know a little bit. Yeah. She's doing it. Cat and I will yell at each other. Like, just precision it. You know you can precision it. She'll be like, yeah, just do the wall run. Like, you can vault it. We just yell at each other. It's it's, 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 it's a supportive thing. Other than the fact that um, guys tend to just pick up on strength stuff a little bit easier, um, you think there's anything else that uh, makes it harder to um, to train in this kind of a thing? It involves climbing, for one thing, a, a family upper body. I mean, jumping is 90% of it, but everyone loves to climb, obviously. You know, so is do you feel like there's anything else that kind of makes it hard? And what what are those things, and how do you deal with them? I mean. Guys, like, as, as, we were like, I was talking, and I was like, no, I was talking. Um, I think that guys, as, when they're children, play a lot of, like, you know, they're like rough house, and they climb, and they do all stuff like that. Like, boys just do that as children. And maybe it's just like, when I was a kid, you know, I was like reading books. I was like, I'm gonna, you go have an adventure, I'm gonna read about an adventure. <laughs> Indoors in the air conditioning. So a lot of guys will do that when they're like kids. So then when they start doing parkour, it's kind of the same thing that they're pulling off of, or guys do a lot of different sports and stuff, and then so they'll already have like the muscles and stuff like that. And I guess I know very few like athletic women that would just be able to pick it up the same way the guys do. Well, you were Maybe. talking about reliving a Zelda experience <laughs> earlier. Yes, the video games. Yeah, you watch, you play like the video games, and the little characters just like jump stuff. And, like, so cool, but then you go outside and you're like, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to try and like learn how to do it. Every time I do like something, I'm like, right over six foot wall. Yeah. 
Or like, I did something, oh, it was like a Zelda Wind Waker moment, he like sidles along the wall, and then I'm like, that's so cool, but it'll always be like a six inch ledge with like a 30 foot drop, and I'm like, that wouldn't happen, so I just got on the railing today, and I just did that, and then I got off, and I was just like, that was in a video game. <laughs> I was so excited. I relived a childhood dream. I relived a childhood video game. <laughs> Uh, for me, the main problem was weight. Because when I was young, I was much too big. She's like, pick any of the people. <laughs> You Mom, said, so well, I know that when you're in one of my classes, you had a little, you tucked in a little too oh, hard and landed, that kind of oh, hurt there. Yeah, so. I slammed, I did a, oh, All right, thank you. I did a front flip and I just slammed my knees into my chest. Oh, it hurt so bad. I, I mean, guys are like, oh, I nailed it. Sometimes I'm like, have, no, hitting the moves just hurts. Sometimes we have that advantage over guys though, because we don't have like, that junk there. I know because I was doing something on a trampoline the other night and my heel went right in there and I was like, I'm so glad I'm not a guy that walked away. Yeah, or like climbing over like railings, I'm always like, I feel like this is a little more difficult. Uh, yeah, so you can just kind of sit on a railing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like cringe when we do that, like, oh, oh. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, well, you do wall runs and, you know, like, you start hurting like a third person, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, I thought I couldn't get cons because of Thing. Yeah, <laughs> my knees just yeah. came in my chest, but no, it's not that. It's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's amazing. I never thought about that. <laughs> Anatomical differences. They come in. Yeah. We also have a center of blood that is much in the Yeah. So it's kind of a good thing for balance. Yeah. yeah. When you want to do a funeral, yeah. you actually yeah. have yeah. to that center. Yeah, we get those hip things. Yes. <laughs> the hips, yeah. those hip things. <laughs> <laughs> Why birthing hips? Those birthing yeah, hips. Birthing hips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy. <laughs> 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 we oh. <laughs> Angela has a very lean build. She's also very good at climbing. Like, really good at climbing. <laughs> 